Hello everyone. So it seems you guys are enjoying what we are doing these days on YouTube. And I'm so happy looking at all the love that you are sending my way through your comments. So we are going to continue the same. In today's video, I'm sharing few more home hacks which will help you out in decorating your place well. You can keep your house more neat and organized. And you can also get some time to relax and enjoy with your family. So let's get started. When we change the wall color, there's always a lot of leftover paint. Sometimes when we don't close it properly, the paint dries fast and it won't look fresh. Also, over time it becomes difficult to open the lid of the box. Or kabi kabi bohat thoda sa paint reh jata hai or fit touch-ups ke time pe bohat tricky hota hai to get to the bottom of the paint box to use it. There are perfect solution to all these paint problems. The paint which you use frequently just transfer that paint to an old discarded plastic box. In this way, the old boxes are also recycled. Label them if necessary. So don't store the little leftover paint in a big box. Just transfer that also to a smaller box so that it will be easy to get the paint when required. For instance, I have this green colored wall in my living room. So I have to keep the paint also. Just take a small quantity in a separate box for all the touch-ups. In this way, you don't have to open the box again and again. Take a carton box and organize them nicely. Keep them in your utility area or in your storeroom. Now see how nicely they are organized. You might have noticed this for sure that if you want to hang big frames over a wall, it's not that straightforward. It's a struggle to do proper drills and then you can't simply do it on your own. Now there is a very old hack or a trick which my parents were doing for a very long time if the picture is big and heavy. You usually get two hangers at the back. Ask your picture framing guy to put it little towards the middle like this and then use a nylon rope or wire to join them. In this way it really becomes super easy to hang the pictures without measuring the distance between the hangers. Just put a nail where you want to hang. Now an additional trick, this one I came across on Pinterest. When you hang the picture which has wire or rope at the back, just first put the fork on the nail and without looking at where the nail is, just put it on the fork. And later when you are done, just remove the fork. It is so simple, time saving and also very easy. Now this is an omnipresent issue. When you have window AC installed higher up over the door, you have to keep curtains open when AC is in use. It gets very annoying to keep the entire curtain open for the small opening required for AC. So you happen to stick newspapers over the area other than AC or something similar like that. Especially if you are on rent, it is not possible to fix another rod for the curtain. So what you can do is, you can simply use these kind of self-adhesive mop holders. But instead of sticking them horizontally, as usual, just rotate by 90 degrees and stick them vertically. Now use any rod to hang the curtains. It's very cost effective when you want to use AC, just fix a rod with curtains. And when AC is not in use, you just simply remove the rod. The privacy is intact, job is done and you can see how nice it looks once you place them. In the last video, someone has asked me how to hang pictures without any nails. So here I have something interesting for those who wants to hang lightweight wall frames or plates like these on the walls. If you guys remember, I have used these tags in the last video and today I'm going to share one more use of these reusable tag. Take a small portion from the back and put it at the back of the plate or at the back of your lightweight picture frame. Fix it nicely, press it hard and before you put it on the wall, just make sure that the wall is cleaned and then simply fix it. It will stay there and can be removed as well.
Do you guys also face this problem that when we put up a wall art, sometimes they won't properly align on the wall and just keep on moving. For that, you can simply use a small portion of tag and put it at the back of the wall art. Now fix it nicely on the wall. Now the frame will stay in one place. Hena ek dam bilkul simple sa or easy hack is tarike ke wall arts ko ek place pe rakhne ke liye. Have you guys ever noticed that when you use paper liners in the cupboards, it moves as you move these baskets. So in this case also, you can use these tags. Just put them on the four corners of the shelf. Now, over these tags, you can put the paper and if you move items, it won't move with them and it would remain at its place. Have you ever looked at your earphones? They start looking dirty over time. But believe me, they are dirtier than they look. The wax get deposited with multiple usage over time and probably you will have to visit the store to get them cleaned if they stop giving optimum performance. Now I am going to share this amazing hack which randomly came to my mind when I was shooting this how to hang wall art without nails and I realized these can act as cleaning putty. Just take a small portion and start cleaning them. Later I realized that these are like cleaning gels or clay which go inside and remove all the wax and amazing to clean hard to reach areas like these on earphones. Just clean your iPods and earphones with them and save lot of money. I think you all will agree that there are places in everyone's house which may look ugly but somehow you have to live with them like in my case this MCV box on my foyer wall. Now this was fixed by the builder and it has to remain here. So instead of getting irritated by it, just hide it. Find a suitable piece to go with overall decor like a big painting, a mirror or anything of this sort. The job it has to do is to hide it properly without showing that you are indeed trying to hide something behind it. I am using this big mirror which goes well with decor I have set up for the foil. And since it's not fixed but used occasionally, I can simply put it down and it's all good again. When we decorate our homes, we just want it to look as beautiful as possible. So if you also give lamps ke extra wires to the floor, dirty look dete hai, I want to share an interesting thing. Every lamp has this hole from where the wire comes. Just push the extra wire inside the lamp and keep as much as you need. Or if you don't have this provision, you can use these twistable tie-ups which comes with these kind of cutters to cut the wire at the desired length. Just roll up the wire. Take the tie up and wrap it around. Now the good thing about them is when you want to reopen, just twist it anti-clockwise and it opens in a few seconds. No wastage, nothing and also makes the area look less cluttered. Especially when you want to mop or sweep the floor, it becomes easy when the wire is wrapped and kept nicely on the floor. Cleaning tile floor grout can be simple and cheap if you know this one simple and frugal cleaning life hack. I use toilet cleaner. You can use any of your choice. Just apply it on the grout. Take a scrubber to apply it all over the place and wait for good 1-2 to two minutes. Now take a steel wool and scrub it very lightly. When you will scrub you will see the dirt will be gone and grout will be all cleaned. Use it in the bathroom to clean the tile grouts. And you can also use it on the countertop to clean the grout. Later, once when you are done, take a mop and clean it. And then you can see the results on your own, how nicely the grouts are clean. Reuse concept is very popular when it comes to household items. And I am going to speak about something in particular today. There are packaging items which are very useful but it's important to reuse what they are good for like this dishwashing liquid bottle top. 
When it is finished, don't throw away the cap of this bottle. You can use it around the home in many ways. One of them is to replace them with other bottles, say this phenyl one. These caps can fit in most of the bottles. When we open the cap more often than not, the phenyl drips over the bottle and also spoils the shelf where you place it. If you replace it with this cap, you just have to squeeze the phenyl out of this bottle without thinking about getting it spilled all over your hands and all over the bottle. Always keep the cap pulled out so you need not to open it again and again. Simple yet effective. This is all for today's video and I really hope you are going to find all these home hacks useful. If you like today's video, then please do share this video with all your friends and family. Like the video and please do subscribe to my channel. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more video related updates. I'll see you next time with another video. Till then stay home, take care and bye bye.